you guys. So when my wife was pregnant uh, with my son for Christmas for our house, I bought us a, one of those automatic vacuum cleaners. And unfortunately over time, uh, my son gave that poor thing quite a be beating. So what uh, I finally done is I, I finally decided to replace it, bought us a new one uh, from Neato Robotics uh, and it's their D8 version. Uh, it should be here anytime today, um, but I figured I kind of you know show you guys my uh, the why I'm you know done this and uh, what what I like about it. So so this is our old one um, that I bought. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, I bought this one when my wife was pregnant with her son a couple of years back, and you know it worked fine uh, for what it was. You know it, it had some uh, getting used to, um, you know especially if you've never had uh, a robot vacuum before. Um, so obviously, you know, like shoelaces and any kind of wiring, you know, we had to be mindful and sort of, uh, you know, when we left the house for the day, making sure the house is, you know, robot friendly, I think is what they call it. But unfortunately, uh, over time, uh, my son, as he grew uh, older and older, uh, you know, had a little bit of a rivalry with this poor little guy. And, uh, you know, he's seen better days. He's seen his fair share of uh, toddler smacks. Uh, and you know opening it and just pushing all the buttons not you know continuously so I think it's just had enough so um, we had also named um, this guy Alfred like uh, Batman uh, you know the butler and Batman just because of the color that kind of matched the butler uniform but you know uh, poor Alfred is gonna just you know live a different life um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with him yet um, I may decide to just retire him or, you know, uh, he may live a, a retiree lifestyle. I don't know. I may try to DIY, um, you know, what's wrong with it just so I can put it in the garage maybe. But here's what it does now. So I'm just going to move a little bit so I'm not in its way. Uh, I've, I've actually unplugged it because I didn't even want it to be charged. But I uh, plugged it up earlier and, you know, it's charging right now, hence the blinking. And it has its own schedule. The schedule is, like, completely messed up now. It just sort of turns on at random and you know I could tolerate that but it also makes this horrible noise So as you can hear, that's quite loud. And you know, with me working from home, it's just not tolerable. And it doesn't really do anything. I mean, it's just kind of moving around. So as I mentioned, I think we're just gonna retire our old one. As you can hear in the background, is there's a lot of you know, stuff that's gone wrong with it. Um, so I'm excited to see what Neato Robotics will do for us. Hey everyone, so as promised, the new vacuum is here. Uh, I'm gonna open the box and check it out. Robotics D8. So like, as you can see in, in the box, even on the box itself, uh, which this was a big purchasing factor for me as I was looking around, is that it has a larger brush than the average. And uh, based on its D shape, hence the name D8, it can get into the corners better than the average um, you know, circular one. Now these also have the little bristles which help some but it's not quite the same thing. But anyway, um, they also have an app which you can see here. So yeah, we're gonna open it up and go for it. Even though it wasn't like two larger boxes, 
the box itself is very tight fit. Uh, welcome lever. The vacuum itself. Instructions. More maybe filters or brushes. Power adapter and charging station. And again, all very well packaged. Fit form. Even this has some more padding. That's very impressive. Alright, so again, charging station. Equipment, instructions. also needs to come out. But yeah, there you have it. The Neato Robotics D8. So I'm going to get this guy charged up. Um, you know, download the app, read up on it a little bit, you know, whatever you have to do on the first go around. And we'll be back later for, um, you know, kind of like a first look, uh, first impressions type of thing. But I'm mean, pretty excited so far. Thank you all for watching and please um, you know, we'll come back in a little bit. Thank you. We've now had our Niata Robotics D8 for a few days, uh, finished getting the app all set up, uh, did a few cleanings, uh, including the first one that you know allows you to kind of map the place. Um, that took a little longer, but not because of the robot, but because of my son kept on putting stuff in its way and trying to communicate with the robot. But all in all, very happy with it. Um, you can also select um, the different cleaning modes. Here you can kind of see what they talk about each one. Eco, uh, a little uh, on the quieter side of things. Uh, I, I can actually, and I have run this while I've been on call, so that's really great. Turbos, so far, what we've used, you know, when we uh, walk out the house and kind of let us do it, its own thing um, because uh, it's just a little more uh, volume, but obviously cleans it a little deeper. Uh, and then, most importantly for us, uh, we've also renamed the robot uh, in honor of our old robot. But yeah, uh, I mean, all in all, um, very happy with it. Here you can see it's mapped the house. Uh, you can actually edit some of that too. Uh, and then some of the uh, runs that it's done. Um, all, in, all of them, you know, either, um, you know, 48, uh, 58 minutes, an hour and a half, an hour, 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, so far, pretty pleased with it. Um, you know, obviously we'll, we'll use it for a bit longer and, um, you know, provide a little more feedback after I've had it for a while. Uh, but all in all, very pleased with Neato Robotics. The app is wonderful to use. Uh, if you have ever any questions, you can click on that little um, question mark button. And it connects you directly to someone uh, within Neato Robotics. Uh, but yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, so far, I give it, you know, thumbs up and uh, we'll continue to use it and provide more feedback uh, after a while. But, you know, as always, thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and I uh, appreciate you guys for watching the video.